Hello, buzz girls, my name is Hatsusi and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Where last time oh, we twinkered a bit about um, in order to get our production for purple signs up. So let's have a look at that first because I think we still need uh, to do some things. Uh, we are up to about uh, 16 signs per minute and that's double the amount we had uh, a few episodes before but we should get it up to two signs per second. So looking here um, this train doesn't, or this station does not accept a train because 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 um, we have an output signal here but only 600 in storage. I'm not sure if that's correct. So let's head down there and see what we have set up and how we have set up uh, other, other science factories. Because the goal is that if we do not have enough items uh, to load on the output side, on a pickup side, uh, then we probably should accept trains to load more. So, let's see here. Yeah, here we have 8,000. That's a full train load. And here we have eight thousand, and we have eight thousand. Oh, do we send a, a yellow signal if uh, if we are below? And then here a yellow signal if we don't have all three materials. So ah, uh, I see the problem. We get the yellow signal from over here but we miss a connection there. Now. We should have one output signal. Yes. But why is the train limit still set to zero? Let's set it here to one. Ah, oh. that's another problem. I connected the station to the input of this combinator instead of the output. Now that's correct. Luckily I did not make the mistake up here. Uh, so this train, uh, the rails, they are queuing up. 
Um, so this train is only waiting until the time has passed because nothing more can be produced up here. And that's okay. So maybe at this point we should think about upgrading uh, our um, our assemblers to the next level we'll do these ones first because that should help with the with the speed and if we manage to uh, provide enough trains with materials, we definitely should get more out of it. And then we also somewhere have a set up with beacons. Yeah, this one here, where we have productivity modules in the assemblers and uh, beacons around it. So I don't have either on me. Um, so we will we will have to to see where we get some, and here we can see one train is loading rails. That should not take too long. Well, it's a lot of rails, but I think rail production, we we have enough to to deal with that. Uh, the other is heading for uh, the furnace pickup, which is good. Furnaces, that was a bit of an issue. If few episodes back where we just could not produce enough furnaces to satisfy the need and the second train is now also heading in that direction or more precisely um, for the for the waiting bay for the furnaces but as I can see here we have another station white as well so the train can already go there and then this train is going to for the for the modules and that should also be uh, loaded up quickly yeah we do not need that many modules. So that's good. So let me grab a few modules, a few beacons, and then we can see about uh, getting even more out of this factory slot for purple signs. One train already made it back here, so I am currently crafting a few beacons. So let's place them uh, in here. We have one beacon for uh, every two um, uh, assemblers. Down here, it's a bit of a, of a tight squeeze as we have the as we have the uh, uh, substations as well. But we do manage. And I have to wait for the. Uh, 
uh, orders to be crafted. It's a bit, it's a bit slow, but if we look at the at the last ten minutes, we can see we all now we basically have this minimum level of production. Then we have the have the peaks, but that's already better than what we had before, where we really dropped down to zero production for a while until a new load came in and we are at 72 science packs per minute that's half the way where we want to be the question then still is is this number sustainable uh, in in the long term and we will have to see about that uh, I, I think it's there it's less a, a question of uh, of the production setup of the science itself uh, but can we uh, deliver enough materials uh, for production to uh, go on continuously so a few more of these beacons and then down here that tree has to go and we are missing only a few more and once all the beacons are in place uh, we will add the speed modules to the beacons and the productivity modules to the assemblers. And with that set up, uh, the speed modules in the beacons should balance out the loss of speed that we uh, incur due to the fact that we add um, a productivity modules in the assemblers because if we do this you can see on the right side there that we have a crafting speed of minus 60 percent but the productivity of uh, 40 percent and if we do this we are at still we have a crafting speed reduction of minus 10 but we still get the plus 40 production so overall we are producing more so um let's not add those in the chests Let's try to do it this way and then speed module into the beacons. Then same thing here, only here we have to place them in manually as the beacons are on the same same level as the assemblers so drag and drop does not really work here and if I counted correctly I should have enough modules to fill everything up here Oh, actually, I can do the drag and drop because productivity does not go into the beacons. Only goes into assemblers. And yes, I even have a few uh, spare. And if we look at 
production now we're still at around uh, the 70 75 so not much changed has since before we added the modules but i think to really see if there is a difference let's wait 10 20 minutes uh, and then have a final look uh, at at where we stand um, i think one improvement that we can make here is let's cut this down to 60 seconds because we know for a fact we have that scene the train sits there uh, trying to unload the rails uh, but that will just not happen this this waiting is basically in there um, uh, for situations where we have a more even distribution uh, of the goods here in the in the chests uh, and that while the train is waiting uh, things are being produced uh, picked up from the chests uh, and freeing up space so a few more items can be unloaded but i think here it's more important to have a continuous supply of uh, uh, of materials and just sitting the, the just the train sitting there does not really help that so let's make a cup jump into the future and see what this uh, change with modules did to our output looking at this picture i think we are getting there if we switch to the the one minute view we can see we are a bit uh, below uh, at least currently a bit below uh, of one science per second uh, but we can see we do have these peaks in there and these are related to when new materials are coming in and if we look at this we can see the the frequency has has increased uh, compared to the past so i think the next step uh, to get more purple signs is we have to deliver more good so that we have more of these peaks more frequently but that's definitely a project for another episode hope you enjoyed this one and join me next time for more beltless factorio until then goodbye